How's it going, people? Thought I would check out this militant tract. Final orders. And look, it's got, you know, military looking seal. So let's stay up there. Semper Semperfy? That isn't Semperfy. It's something Latin and militant. Okay. During my 26 years of military service, I often awaited my next orders. As a military professional, I was aware that orders from a higher headquarters could come at any time. Like a thief in the night, maybe. The Bible teaches that life is no different. And your fantasy world. <laughs> As a matter of fact, oh really? It states that your final orders are coming from heaven. I thought maybe the Twilight Zone. I was wrong. <sighs> that was my second guess, though. All right. Eventually, eventually, God will stop your breathing and you will die. <laughs> so eventually God's going to kill you. And here's a, a, a verse. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. And that's Hebrews 9.27. If you have not accepted the Lord Jesus as your Savior and superior officer, <laughs> Your final orders will send you to hell for all eternity. So make the right choice. You only got one. The Lord states in Revelation 2015, And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast in the lake of fire. Funny, it doesn't say that anywhere else, though. So you're going to take one guy's word for it. A lunatic who mostly was ripping off Daniel and Ezekiel anyway. <sighs> yeah, John of Patmos, the lunatic. The good news is, and here's another quote, God hath not appointed us to wrath, parentheses, punishment in hell. That's what he means by wrath. It's funny because often in the Bible it could be like a plague of locusts or something. You know, or a drought. But no, we're talking about hell. <laughs> the longest drought there'll ever be. All right. But, in parentheses there, uh, but to obtain salvation. Now they got parentheses here again. And here's a little accretion here. Eternity in heaven, in parenthetical. By. Obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. Now it doesn't really say that. You're adding that in. What it really says is, God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. That could be salvation from a plague of locusts or a drought or bubonic plague. God's wrath has been manifest more ways than just hell. He might not have been talking about that. Probably was, but maybe not. Knowing exactly where your next assignment will take you is a dream come true. It's definitely a dreamland. A dream state. <laughs> Your final assignment 
in life will be determined by the decision you make after reading this tract. Now, this is some pretty important shit here. This tract is meant to change your life. <laughs> be cannon fodder for Jesus. All right. If you choose hell <laughs> as your final assignment, do nothing. You're just going to burn in hell. Just do nothing! He's got a big old explanation point there. <laughs> it really upsets him that you might actually do that. You have already done enough. <laughs> and here's a... They got a little uh, verse here. Plucked from Psalms 917. The wicked shall be turned into hell. She'll be turned into hell. Become hell? Well, first of all, hell doesn't mean the same thing. If you read another translation, that's Sheol, not Hades. Uh, the wicked shall be turned into death. That's another... Hell just means death. You know, in the Old Testament, they don't have hell. I mean, in the book of Job, even even the devil's hanging out with God in heaven. <laughs> if you desire heaven to be your final assignment, soldier, there are several steps you must follow. First, you must understand that you are a sinner. The Bible states... For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That's Romans 3.23. Yeah. All people are sinners and do not deserve to go to heaven. Secondly, you must realize that your sin has deadly consequences. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, hell, death, hell. Ah. Alright. Here, death refers to an eternal separation from God in hell. Thirdly, you need to recognize, better recognize, that your sin debt has been paid. The Bible states, But God commandeth his love towards us. Wait. But God commendeth his love towards us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And that's Romans 5, 8. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, took your punishment and died for you. Yeah. Fourthly, you must repent of your sins. God now commandeth all men everywhere to repent, and that's Acts 17.30, and obviously they were talking about you. Repentance is a change of heart which causes you to turn towards God and away from your present way of life. I wish more people would have a change of heart where they just start wanting to treat people nice. Just because. No reward. Just because. But this is promising you that there's a carrot dangling in front of you that if you keep going, you're going to get that carrot. <laughs> and if you go until you drop dead, blessed are thou. All right. Finally, you must take action. 
to ensure higher headquarters know your intentions. You got to report in, soldier. And that, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And that's Romans 10, 9, and 10. This passage lists two parts of salvation. You are required to both ask Jesus to save you and also to believe God's word. If you ask for salvation, yet you do not believe with your heart, you are still on your way to hell. <sighs> when you agree to serve your country, you believe the promises made to you by the recruiter, and you acted upon those promises. To become a Christian, you must believe God's promises and act upon them by asking Him to save you. God cannot lie. Uh, here is His promise to you. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of God abideth on him, and it's John 3.36. If you will accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, please pray this prayer or one similar to it can even make one of your own up. Uh, dear God, I admit that I am a sinner going to hell. I know that I cannot save myself. I repent of my sins and put my faith in the blood that you shed for me on the cross to pay for my sins. I now accept you as my Savior and trust you to take me to heaven. I'll be your bitch. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Thank you for saving me. Amen. <laughs> That's the uh, Fellowship Track League. And look, you could even fill this shit out and send it back to him. Uh, And, oh wait, and this was written by Sergeant Major Doug uh, Carragher, I think it is. Car Carragher, um, U.S. Army retired. Thank you for all you did. And I really enjoyed this. Anyway, this if this is reaching you, you got a choice to make, but just one. I say choose reason. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having, and do whatever's working for you, as long as nobody gets hurt. <laughs>